Hey YouTubers, it's me Soki. Happy first Sunday of February. Every single day I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day I'm gonna make I normally don't put out videos on Sunday, but I just got done doing um, a month-long fast. And I want to come on and share that with you. So, special video. So, the Daniel's Fast can be found in the book of Daniel. It is a story of Daniel. Daniel is a fasting man. Like, he fasts quite often. And it's basically, he gets rid of the, the king's choice food and takes on only fruits, vegetables, and water. That's it. And so, that's what I ate for the last 30 days. Just fruits, vegetables, and plenty of water. It's really not easy. Um, I would be lying if I said it was. It's not easy, but it's worth it. It was so, so worth it. Over the years, I've gotten much better with fasting. Um, I practice fasting a lot. Practicing fasting is part of being a Christian. It's part of the Christian lifestyle. I am a Christian. Hello. Um, but Jesus says to his disciples, even... They were trying to cast out a demon out of this young boy. They couldn't do it. Jesus came and he did it. And they asked him, well, Lord, how come you were able to cast out the demon and we weren't? And he told them because some things can only be done through prayer and fasting. So Jesus himself says these two things are coupled together. They make you more powerful. I can definitely vouch for that. There have been many, many times in my life over these last couple of years where I've been like, Lord, what is this? What's going on? I don't understand. I go into a time of fasting and it's like, boom, here's your answer. Even still, the answer is not always something I understand, but I get it. So I have come to find that fasting is so, so powerful. Fasting coupled with prayer just makes a better connection with God. It seems like for me personally, he hears me better and I hear him better. When I remove the worry about food and what I'm going to eat and, you know, if we're going to have chicken tonight or if we're going to have some chips at the party. When I get rid of all that, all that clutter and like noise in my head, I'm really able to hear God so, so much better. So I am now honored to be able to fast. And it's a privilege to be able to make that sacrifice and turn to God and say, Lord, I desperately need you. So during this time, I gave up the food. I definitely did the Daniel's Fast. But I also gave up social media. So I find that I can spend a lot of time scrolling. And literally just scrolling. I'm not commenting. I'm not liking. I'm just scrolling. And that time that I spent scrolling was time that I could spend with God. And time that I did spend with God. So for the month, I let go of social media. No Instagram, no Facebook, no nothing like that. I did still post here on uh, YouTube, but I basically came back on to write comments and then I was off again. Again, got rid of all distractions. So this year I asked myself a very important question. I journal a lot while I'm fasting. And one of the questions I asked myself in my journal is, why do you do this? Nobody's forcing you. You don't have to. You can absolutely eat that cheese if you want to. Nobody's here, nobody's watching you. Why do this? And I do it personally because I love to see God move. It is amazing the things that happen when I fast and when I pray. Things that only God can do. There's no me involved in this. I have no power in any of this. I have no control in any of this. And so it is during this time of fasting and prayer where I'm able to just turn stuff over to God and say, God, I can't. I can't, I don't know how, I don't know where, Lord, please. And maybe during this month, because everybody's a lot of churches that are praying, are praying and fasting, a lot of people that are praying and fasting, like, I don't know if he's more in tune with me or what, I have no idea. But it just seems like for this month, for January, he just moves. It's amazing. It is mind-blowing and I continually say that Lord you are blowing my mind and then when I pray for stuff I'm like Lord blow my mind again Jesus you can do it it's just a really really good time with God and so no nobody is making me do this someone is forcing me to 
um, you know, my pastor suggested, but he's not at my house. He's not with me all the time. He sees me on Sunday. So it's not like he's making me do it or he's like standing over me. Don't you eat that? So it's really just, I personally believe in fasting. I personally have seen fasting and prayer work in some amazing ways. And so when January comes, I'm ready. I'm set. This actually, this year was the first year that I did a full 30 day fast. Like I went the entire month of January. That again, nothing but glory to God because I, mm, I would love to have eaten all this birthday cake they kept showing up at work with and participated in all these potlucks and goodbye lunches and all that stuff. Woo! But it was good. And God did move as he always did. So if you are thinking about it, if you're a Christian and you haven't fasted yet, if you're a Christian and you've never tried fasting, give it a try. Give God a try. Do it for a week. Do it for two weeks. Do it for a couple of days. Maybe 21 is too, mess, too much for you. But give it a chance. Take the food away. Take away that power. Get back to the good stuff, which is actually better for our bodies anyway. You guys know they put a lot, a lot in the food that we eat. A lot of it is very damaging to our bodies. So to just take the time to say, I'm just going to eat what's fresh, what's from a tree, what's from a plant... It really gives your body a kickstart too. So there are so many numerous, numerous ways that this is good and beneficial. I would suggest to give it a try. So if you're interested, if you're thinking about it, leave me a comment down below. As the Sundays of this month continue, I'm going to show you a little bit of like what I ate, my grocery haul, the things that I cooked, a little bit of my menu, and I have an amazing testimony service at the end of the month. Because again, God rocked my world. So you guys have a great and amazing Sunday. I'll see you later. Bye, YouTubers.